Tea Live, a platform to sharing your thoughts. Great. Thank you. Hello, Corrado. How are you? It's been such a long time <laughs> that we are seeing each other. And uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Kind of situation. new things have been happening. I mean, uh, uh, so many changes have been happening globally and uh, somehow or the other this has brought us together so yeah. um, i'd like to uh, welcome you corrado thank you uh, very much it's uh, let me introduce um, you to corrado rossi um, corrado is he lives in italy he is uh, um, professionally a pathologist and other than that, he's a very fine musician. So the combination of the two is a very synergistic um, way of living for Corrado. And um, uh, the background to this conversation that we are having today is the fact that I have never met Corrado. I mean, we've never met. And yet we know each other so well, but that is through music. Now, how that happened, that's many years back, say about 10, 12 years back, that we got connected over the internet and uh, through a medium called MySpace. And we liked each other's music and we thought we should connect with each other. So um, the story went on further. And uh, what happened was that Corrado was uh, making some music at that time and so was I. So we decided, can we do something together? And that sounded very interesting. Now this was the first time ever on the internet that uh, somebody connected with each other to make music together over the internet. And that's the way the album Road to India uh, took shape. And that's the way it was conceived. And um, I would like to now request Corrado about uh, his uh, experience in this. Yes, okay. Corrado. So. Okay. Well, uh, about my background, so I can say that uh, I started uh, studying the piano at uh, six years old. And, uh, when I graduated, I started producing music with uh, new technologies, you know. Yes. Particular electronic, ambient, and uh, neoclassical music. Uh, during all this time, I composed uh, seven albums and some uh, international awards. But apart from that, uh, I met you on my space, that's right. Uh, I, I still remember your, your message that you wrote me asking to compose something together. Yes. Uh, I accepted because uh, the idea of, uh, of creating something that uh, linked uh, the West with the East musical culture uh, was uh, very interesting to me. It was a very nice mm. as an, as an idea. I was very curious to, to know how two such different sounds could mix together, yeah. and uh, and also I found uh, you, Bargav, as a, a peculiar and a professional artist, as well as a friend. You are a, a good friend. I, I'm honored to say that, and yeah. so it was a, a real pleasure to, to collaborate. Uh, with you. And remembering the production, the, the the composition of the album, I I, rem I, I can say that. Uh, works uh, uh, flow uh, nicely and, and quick, I must say. Right, yeah. Uh, about, uh, yeah, no, not, um, composing the songs were not in it took me not too much time. In particular, the first song, I don't know if maybe it is, uh, this is important right. to let the audience uh, listen to, to, to Flying Easter. I remember Flying. that. Yes. I have, uh, I have uh, in fact, that Flying East was our very first composition that we did. 
and I think that is a landmark composition mm -hmm. that um, started this collaboration. And uh, I think it it might be a good idea for the viewers to 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 listen to this. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, if like, I, I have a video. Uh, I made yeah. a small video clip which mm -hmm. shows the in the background the song and a lot of uh, visuals uh, which are in and around it kind of depicts you know flying east kind of uh, situation right. so uh, sh uh, if you want I can share that right now and I think it will refresh our memories mm. about the very first song that you know uh, that made us do 10 more compositions and God knows how many more to go later so uh, let me share the screen here mm -hmm. and um, okay I'm gonna share the screen are you able to see this right there.
what about your your history in music? Can you can you share with us uh, your previous experiences in your uh, about uh, the server, about uh, your background to us? Yeah, sure. Um, Sarod, for me, Sarod, I love the instrument Sarod uh, mm -hmm. only because of its sound, basically. When I was introduced to the, I mean, uh, to the Sarod, it was very long time back, probably during my college days. I was studying design at the time and when I heard an album by Pandit Ravi Shankar and uh, Ustad Ali Akbar Khan, these are the two doyens of Indian classical music. At that time, I didn't know what a sarod was, but I was more attracted by the sounds. And I particularly liked the sound of uh, the sarod, which much later I discovered was uh, co called that. And my journey started like that while uh, during my design uh, college uh, days in design. And ever since, I spent some time trying to you know trying to play the sarod it's a very difficult instrument so but still its sound is so um, uh, enchanting that uh, you would like to you know you'd like to uh, somehow or the other uh, gain its uh, its attraction <laughs> So that has been my journey. Even today, I must confess that I'm, I haven't yet reached a point where I have to totally uh, mastered the sarod. But whatever it is, I'm enjoying it. Whatever little I play, I like it. And I always uh, try to create a sound through the sarod, which I feel is appealing to me and hopefully to the others, whoever listen to it. And it's been going on ever since then. So, so nice. that's how it is, yeah. And I ask you, may I ask you, I'm sorry, just a question that uh, uh, I had uh, right now. Uh, when you are composing something new, do, do you write the music on the paper or you have all in oh, your mind? Yes, that's, that's such a wide difference between uh, uh, Corrado, between uh, the Western music and the Indian music. Um, no, we are, well, I would not like to use the word illiterate so okay. far as writing music is concerned. Mm -hmm. But I'll say that whatever comes to the mind, we express it through the sound and we try to just uh, uh, remember it. Mm -hmm. And that becomes a composition. Okay. Now, I know in Western music, it's much more different probably because western music has got harmonics in it that's right and the moment harmonics come in things become terribly complicated <laughs> it's like a, i would say in mathematics it becomes like a like like some kind of a crazy equation okay. which uh, some high amount of calculus can solve it Mm -hmm. But the resultant, the resultant effect of that harmonious harmony and the melody combined together is amazing. Yes. So, answering your question, I don't write music. Mm -hmm. I record it. I find that the composition is good because for us to remember the music, we go by a certain... Uh, tal. Tal is rhythm. Okay. Uh, a rhythm within a rhythm. It's a cycle. Like for example, 16 beats can be called a rhythm. But teen tal is a tal. Because teen tal is 16 beats, but within that, there are uh, different um, parameters through which you have to, you know, because 16 beat can be into a different uh, other tals also. But how you present it is different. So okay. you try to memorize it through a tal, a chosen tal, and um, that's the way it goes. So, yeah. That's interesting. Very interesting to know that. Yeah. And Corrado, uh, this, um, 
Uh, recently, I came across. Um, I mean, you know, uh, we are connected uh, on 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 uh, on the media on Facebook, and you have made some amazing piece of music uh, mm-hmm. after this, uh, you know, this COVID. And I think Italy was a hot spot for COVID. Mm-hmm. And uh, Italy uh, somehow the I mean uh, during the initial phases I I, I uh, whatever news I read it was in one of the worst uh, periods at that time and and uh, you have I think also composed some music mm-hmm. which which somehow uh, you know reflects your emotions. Yeah, in Italy. Yeah. Uh, is it is that called um, uh, and uh, Anthem. Anthem for Bergamo. Yeah. Anthem for Bergamo. By the way, Corrado is from a town called a city called Bergamo, which is in north of Italy, uh, north of Italy, and it's a beautiful uh, place, as I know. Uh, my son has visited, but I've never, <laughs> I've never been able to yet visit. We are waiting for you soon, Baga. Yes, yes, yes. When you want, our arms are open for you. I know. So, whenever um, the Almighty allows us, we will. Okay. okay. Uh, would you like to talk about your um, uh, that uh, composition? Would you like to play it for us? And, uh, yes. Yeah, yes. that'd be very nice. Thank you, Maria. Yeah. Yes. I know. Uh, my, first of all, I may say that, uh, uh, especially in this uh, hard time. Uh, music really can uh, heal wounds and uh, give support when you are sick, mentally and physically. Yes. I, I, I strongly believe that. Yes. And so during these times, uh, due to this uh, terrible uh, pandemic, uh, I spent my evenings uh, on the piano, mm-hmm. letting my mind go freely, just just to relax and uh, let my let my mind go. Mm. Uh, after some times, uh, in this way, Anthem for Bergamo was born. That yes. uh, is, a, is a piece of our orchestra and piano, and mm-hmm. especially dedicated to, to my to my hometown. Yeah, uh, tragically affected by this uh, sneaky and invisible virus. Uh, you know about the songs. Even if uh, at first hearing uh, the. The, the melancholic imprint is, is quite evident. Anyway, uh, even if it is not a, a happy song, um, I decided to keep the, 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 the main uh, uh, emotion that I felt when I tried, when I started composing it. Yeah. So I let my emotions flow and the internal tension, all the internal tension uh, yes. that I accumulated, uh, I don't know if it's the right word in English, uh, it's I, I think that, <laughs> I think that uh, the result is, uh, anyways, is therapeutic. It's almost uh, cathartic. Mm? Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. So the songs and at the end, the songs want to look at anyway, look at, at the future, to the future. Mm-hmm. The message of uh, hope and uh, positivity. Right. The special dedication to my hometown and their inhabitants, but uh, you know. It's, it's a sign to, to, to the future. Uh, I don't know if uh, I can share with you the video about these songs now or later. I don't know. Just let me know, Barga. Whenever you like. It's, oh, so, uh, so, if you don't mind, I think later also you can, in fact, uh, conclude it with that also, if you wish. Okay. I mean, okay. That's up to, uh, up to you. So, but, yes, tell me. Uh, so, you can, uh, you can show the video, la- the video later, though. Yeah, you can. I mean, that would be a. In fact, it'll be very nice to uh, uh, conclude it with that because it, you know, goes along with the with the theme. But uh, in the meantime, I I'd like to, you know, Corrado ask you if I can. I'd like to request you to, um, if you can, you know, demonstrate something just on the piano or your instrument, okay. uh, something, some piece of music. Okay. And, and, um, <laughs> okay. I try to to move the camera so you can see me playing on uh, my master keyboard. Oh, that would be great because I I love the way you play, okay. and I'm sure everybody who is uh, uh, seeing us 
This is the master keyboard that I use when I compose uh, on the on the, my on my iMac. That's the one you used for our album Road to India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, my, my old uh, friendly keyboard. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. The song I'm, I would like to, to share with you is a piano solo that I, I composed some months ago. Which one? It's a piano solo that I composed some months ago. Okay. And the song I, I'm going to play with you for you. All right. That's the nice. the song is a, a face in the crowd. Mm -hmm. A and face in the crowd. A face in the crowd. Yeah. This title because. It, it is one of the many songs that I composed for my wife. Wow. Okay. It is my main source of inspiration. So I, I would like to play this song that is quite short uh, yeah. for you. Great. Sure. Please. Let's listen to Corrado uh, with his composition. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Face in the crowd. <laughs> composition and I I have a dream that we'll be able to collaborate once again sometimes okay. and maybe this will be <laughs> yeah maybe this will be uh, a good occasion to to try something new yes yes indeed yeah okay but uh, Margab I would like to hear something from you oh <laughs> yes you yes, have the sure. surround with you I think yes, so I, do have. I have Kept it here, so okay. I'll just uh, lift that. Just give me a moment. That's my sarod here, and I'll play this for you. I'll shift the microphone in a way that you can pick up the sound of the sarod a little better. There it is from here. So, uh, I'll adjust my screen so that even a little bit of sarod can be seen. Yeah. Is it visible now? Right. Not completely. Uh, pardon? Only, I can see only a part of the instrument. Yes. Okay. okay. You know, it's nice, it's beautiful to see. Okay, thank you. 
That's the rate. Right? How many sarods have you got? I have uh, three sarods. Okay. Yes, one is with Drupad and two are with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I know, Corrado, uh, you, uh, we have, uh, you have made music for the sarod, but you're not physically seen it, but this is it. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'll play a short composition. I like to do two things. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of light is being reflected on the road, so, so okay. probably need to. Ah, maybe I, I can sit like this. Yeah. Take, take it, take it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Slight. Like, no, 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 no. The way it was. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, I'll play a, a composition. You you had asked me a question earlier. How do you compose? Mm -hmm. Now, a tune comes to the mind, and um, uh, we try to I try to express it through the sarod. Now, for example, there is one tune which came to me, uh, and uh, just by the feel of it. I I feel it's something like contemplation, you know, contemplation, thinking, and especially during these times, what is going on? I mean, you know, it's just questions, questions, no answers. So this is contemplation. Mm -hmm. And after I play this composition, I will uh, also play how we played it together and made uh, a video clipping of that. So first I'll play the tune and then I'll play the video for you. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Right. So here is the contemplation tune. different uh, modes and situations we play it in uh, different ways but uh, I can show you I can share the screen and see the, the uh, I have converted it into uh, a short video so should okay. I share that with you okay yes
That was it. Uh, the, Thank, you Thank you for oh, sharing. Sorry, what have I done? Uh, just hold on. Uh, go back to Zoom. I seem to have. Right, stop share. There we are. Okay. Um, sorry, sorry, about, sorry. Just, just another question. I yes. I can hear that the rhythm is quite important for uh, for this kind of music, as you told me before. The, the importance of percussions, uh, tabla, and other per percussive instruments is uh, very important for this kind of music, I think. Um, what, what is very important? Percussions. Yeah, percussions, the rhythmical aspect of the... Um, see, Indian... Uh, the, 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 our music mm -hmm. goes in generally two parts, we'll say. One is called the alap. Alap means contemplation, generally. Contemplation means, alap means uh, imagination. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, you introduce the notes of your composition in a, in, in a slow and steady way, mm -hmm. trying to evolve its mood. And once you have done that, you convert it into a a structure and that structure is the composition we call bandish mm -hmm. we also call it um, uh, bandish composition rachna so these are different terminologies and these compositions can be based on different uh, tals meaning rhythmic cycles now this was based on on something we call dadra or dadra is a tal which you can associate with uh, uh, what do you call it that three uh, three three waltz waltz the waltz okay. one two three one two three okay so we do have both without the percussion as well as with percussion mm -hmm. they both are very equally important Okay. But, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> speaking of sev uh, several other things, uh, Corrado, I'd like to ask you, because you are such a sensitive uh, human being uh, <laughs> in terms of both your profession as well as your music, uh, that, uh, you know, during these kind of uh, situations, how do you connect your work with your music? I mean, is there a way you uh, kind of uh, divide your work time and music time? I mean, what appeals to you more? I mean, in terms of, I know that for me, it's very simple that okay. 
uh, if I work, I can play music, and if I can play music, I can work. It's <laughs> cyclic. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. Good answer, Mark. Uh, it's it's a diplomatic answer. <laughs> No, but you're, I think that you're right because you know I think that we all have a, an emotional side yes. and the more and the more rational, pragmatic one. And you know, yes. so I, I grew up I grew up cultivating both of these aspects. You know, yes. because I was attracted to both of them, uh, and uh, during my life I I tried to manage to cultivate yes. them both. So. Yes. Um, I must say that what I what I live at work sometimes uh, inspires uh, me uh, very, yeah. very deeply. Yeah. Right, right, right. Music right. helps me a lot sometimes to to relax because uh, you know yes. that I'm doing. Sometimes you need to to have a, a stop to to, right, 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 to right. go away with 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 your mind uh, sometimes, yes. uh, especially in these uh, in these hard times that. Uh, uh, we suffered uh, very difficult times. Yes, uh, music was uh, an anchor for me. An anchor. Yes, yes. <laughs> Even recently, uh, somebody had approached me to make uh, um, uh, meditation music for people in the hospital, and yeah. uh, it was a very nice experience. I, I've, I've, uh, we've just finished doing that, and and uh, it's it's been interesting. Someday I'll share it with you. Maybe we can compose it. Maybe we can convert it into uh, um, a different experience also. So uh, mm -hmm. we can do that. Yeah. So you can manage the two aspects of your life too. So you work and work and music. Uh. Yes. I mean, uh, for me, it's been, uh, I don't know. Uh, see, I've never planned it that I want this much time for music and this much time for profession. Mm -hmm. Because uh, my profession is design, and uh, mm, both design and music started together for me, and they have always, uh, up till now, been with me. And I think that the relationship between the two is synergistic. It kind of mm -hmm. helps each other, and um, uh, many a times. I try to see music also as design, and mm -hmm. I try to see design as music. So, yeah. so that's the way it's been for me. Yeah, and I find it fairly interesting. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, this uh, this really. I'm I'm so curious to 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 listen to that wonderful composition. Uh, okay. That you have uh, done for Bergamo, the hymn to Bergamo. I think at least as a as a kind of something which uh, all of us can carry with us back mm -hmm. after our conversation is over, because I know it's very, very sensitive and very touching, yeah, and yeah. it's extremely um, so-called. Uh, what do you call it? It's extremely. Uh, related to these times mm -hmm. so can i request you to uh, uh, sh show your composition i mean make, so that uh, we now we're saying in the video and just let me tell you that, uh, that the video shows uh, some views of my hometown right and uh, it's uh, nice uh, right now think think that uh, those places that uh, has been empty for a long time due to yes. this virus. Now we're coming to life uh -huh. again, slowly but constantly. That's uh, so. It's nice for me to see these places uh, that now are growing up with, with people and uh, other activities, human activities. That's um, that's nice to see. Um, before starting with the video, just let me tell that uh, that's all I wish to India. And to all the Indian people yes. to come to happiness, to come to real life uh, as soon as possible. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Yeah. I, w I will share the video, okay? Yes. Can you see it? Uh, not yet. Okay. 
you have to share screen i think uh are you sharing the screen just a minute so you're still okay uh, yes now i'm there yes i can see your screen This is so cinematic. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, deserves, it's, uh, it yeah. deserves space in uh, cinema. I, I mean, it's beautiful, and uh, one can see the sensitivity with which you can you have uh, composed this piece of music. Thank you, Thank Bravo, you really. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it's a it's a message. At the end, it's a message of hope. To, to, to all the people, to all humanity, you know, right. uh, we, have, we have, we all have suffered uh, in some ways, directly or, or not, but uh, we are living a really strange period of yes. our time. Yes, so yes, yes. We have to go, yes. to go on, to go ahead. Yes, indirectly or somehow or the other, it does. Um, uh, I mean, affect people. I mean, it it. It helps people, this kind of music. Yes, definitely, I know that. And uh, let's hope uh, at least we stay um, kind of in situations in such a way that at least somehow or the other, whoever is all right can in some little way or the other contribute to the betterment of people's lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Italy and India are far apart, but uh, this kind of thanks to City Live, this channel that we are, you know, uh, 
kind of uh, connecting with each other at least that has been able to <laughs> bring us together so okay. we are also uh, corrado and uh, i are really thankful to this city live channel and uh, we really wish all the best for the for the world to get back to a much better way of living mm -hmm. whatever it may be i mean there is no way we can uh, say what's good and what's bad anymore yeah. i think it's the almighty who decides what's good and what's bad or whatever it is mm -hmm. so yeah. brado if you have any parting words uh, it will be nice to yeah share yeah. Yeah. about this strange uh, period that we are living uh, yeah. yeah here in italy we had uh, very difficult moments in the yeah. march and april yes uh, we, were, we were having uh, incredible number of deaths per day yes. you know uh, there is only especially in that period of time we we, we only had to be in, in silence in respect uh, what yes. was happening uh, yes you know yeah now it's time to to try to go away to to search for from our species right. yeah and music can be a great friend music every kind of music can be a very great friend to do that definitely definitely i strongly believe in that yeah great so it was great uh, talking to you brado and i think that the i think uh, we we we've had a good time connecting with each other we shared our emotions we shared our music and so many things and i hope even people whoever is viewing us uh, um, will uh, sort of connect in some way or the other will enjoy it i hope so so yeah so all the best grado my fond regards to your family okay and to all your countrymen and <laughs> in whichever way you can connect and i look forward to our collaboration once again so okay. i'm ready anytime let's keep in touch dear friend a big hello to everyone there to all sure. the indian people yes. and uh, namaste namaste <laughs> right Bye. yeah Bye. okay so Live, a platform to sharing your thoughts.